I'm going to show you how to do a simple animation in this screencast. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to have something we're going to animate. I've drawn this little stick figure, very stylish. You can see if I select it, then I get this mesh over it. This indicates that this is a drawing rather than an actual object. Uh, for our intents and purposes, what we, anything we want to animate is going to need to not be highlighted with this mesh, but actually uh, have a blue box around it when we select it. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. I'm actually going to use my selection tool here, the mouse cursor, and draw a box around all of this stick figure. Whoop, all of this stick figure to select it all. And you can see it's all a mesh now. And I'm going to convert it to a symbol. I control clicked on, on the Mac or right clicked on, on the PC to get there. Symbols are what we can think of as our puppets in this animation. If we think of it as sort of a, a stick figure theater, these stick figures are our puppets. And I'm going to call this stick figure. And this graphic right here is indicating that this is going to be a, a shape that I'm just going to move around. Buttons and movie clips are um, sort of animations within animations. We'll talk about them later. For right now, you want to convert this stick figure to a symbol and make sure it's a graphic symbol. When you click OK, you'll see it show up on the right in your library. And you see that now my stick figure symbol, aka puppet, is highlighted with a blue box when I click on it. So now it's an object that I can animate. I'm now going to right look at my timeline. I see I'm at frame one. My stick figures are on the left side of the screen. I'm going to right click or control click on frame. 30. It could be any frame. I'm just going to do a 30 frame animation right here. I'm going to insert a keyframe here. So now I've got a black dot at 1 and a black dot at 30 indicating that I've got keyframes. And this sort of vast expanse of nothingness in between. With keyframe 30 selected, I'm going to move my stick figure over to the right side of the screen so that I want him to start at frame 1 on the left. And at frame 30, you can see I'm selecting up there in the timeline, I want him to move over to the right. In between times, he's simply hanging out. And I'd like the computer to do all the hard work of the in-between frames. In fact, if I control-click on the Mac or right-click on the PC in the space in between keyframe 1 and keyframe 30, if I control or right-click in this space, I can choose a motion tween. I'm going to create a motion tween right here. And now this empty space is an arrow indicating that the computer is animating all the steps between keyframe at 1 and the keyframe at 30.